been hearing a lot about this training aid and seeing it flexi what's going on everybody scott i'm coming at you we are going to be talking about the lag shot today and what is the lag shot it is a training aid okay so it's a training aid that is a flexible golf club and it's something i've been seeing around on the internet a ton of late and i've been wanting to get my hands on it kind of just been delaying it as we go but finally they got it and have been trying it out so let's talk a little bit about this training aid is it something that would work for you and could help you with your game so again the the lag shot it what is it it is a flexible golf club it comes in a seven iron form they do have a wedge and they do have a driver form as well and it's not you know too different than we've talked about flexible clubs in the past i'm a big fan of the orange whip products i use those a lot in uh, training especially if people need help with like how to make a swing and how to kind of get a feel and a flow to things and i really like the orange whip wedge that really can help your short game and get a feel for how that that club is going to work through a hit on a short game so i've talked about that in the past and how it would kind of be nice to have a flexible club option in the full swing category and so lag shot has that now with their seven iron and driver for the full swing and like i mentioned the wedge so let's talk about the aid and is it something that could work for you well uh, my three things that i always look for and we've talked about this before as well when i'm looking at a training aid one I want to look at does it let you hit golf balls i i like training aids that help you hit golf balls again unless they have a very specific purpose to help you out with from away from hitting a golf ball i prefer them to be able to allow you to hit some shots because i want you to be able to see where the golf ball is going i think that's really huge when you're training hey these feels these different things i'm doing i want to be able to see what the ball does when i do these things so that is one of the big things and yes you can do that with this training aid now the other thing i do like is i want these training aids because they do get a little bit expensive i want it to have some value away from the golf course will this help me if i just want to swing it home i think for a lot of people that is a big deal because you're not always able to get out to the golf course you got to go and practice and do your thing at home and so can you swing this at home and get better i would again say yes on that because you can work on the feeling of tempo working on some speed maybe just getting a feel for overall how this club works i do like that it has a nice weight to it it has it almost a feel of like what a golf club would feel like but again not 100 percent, which is to be expected because of the shaft that's in there that it's flexible so it checks off the first two boxes as we go now the final box that i always look for is will it help people get better now this is one where I think it gets a little bit interesting as you go, because the lag shot is a club. You know, I think it has some interesting ideas to it. Lag is an idea that I, I think people need to realize it gets created in the swing. It's not something you actually like try to do. If you were to go out and try to swing the club, what happens and this happened to me even i started realizing a little bit that i was leaving the face open the more that club kind of flexes and lags the more that face will tend to want to stay open and so the first few shots i hit you know went pretty far right right off the bat and so i know how to correct that and i know what i need to do i'm not sure if you're just somebody working on your own that maybe you'd be able to get this. So I, I wonder if it's something where, hey, I would need a little bit of guidance to be able to correct. Now they do have some really good introductory videos that kind of give you some drills to go through. I like them. They actually mimic a video I did, I think two years ago now, talking about how you go from the top of the swing. A lot of people had some arguments with it, but 
And you know what? You can argue all you want about how you moved from the top of the swing. It's what really happens is that's what it is. So it's uh, it does work on that. I like that. And I think if people really, really stuck to the protocol videos and really worked hard on it, I think you could get it. I think you could see a lot of value in working with this. I do think though, because of just the way I see students work and people, you know, kind of not trusting things or not willing to go far enough, you might need a little help using the device to be able to kind of see what you need to do. I, I just kind of worry about that a little bit because, you know, again, even as I swung it first, I was like, all right, I, you know, I don't need to worry about this or that. And I hit a few shots. I'm like, holy cow, that's going right. I need to get the face squaring and do this and do that. And, you know, again, I can correct myself fairly easily. And I was able to make it work. Just want something I would worry about for kind of your more average recreational player, if that's really going to help them. I think overall it will, but they might struggle to see good shots, which you should see good shots if you're swinging this well. You should be able to do that. So just an interesting little thing I, I would think would happen with this particular training aid. But, you know, overall... I think it's a great aid when you're hitting balls with it. You're going to get a good feel. I think it's a great aid to warm up with. I think it's a great aid to hit some shots, but you then are going to want to move into your, you know, your golf clubs, trying to put the feels into it because you're not going to hit it as far. I don't think with this aid, you know, you're not putting as much into it. You're not going to have as much pressure on the ball, you know, and force on the ball. So I think your distances are going to be down a little bit. Maybe for some people it goes up because you're just not used to lagging or, you know, we're swinging the club with some good flow. So that might actually go up. But I think it's a great warm up aid for myself. I would say it's more of a warm up aid and then giving me a little feel for rhythm and timing. And then I would just be working into my own personal clubs and working on what I would do. But a really good aid, I think if you're somebody more at the beginner stages or if you're really trying to work on some timing and tempo, it's a great piece that you could add and it would work and it would do a lot of wonders for your game. Again, a great one to swing at home. If you don't have the chance to hit some golf balls, I think that would also be a really good thing. And uh, it is nice to have that option to take it and go hit balls if you want to with it as well. So a good little training aid. It's cool to see it getting so much pub out there. Good for them and great job on their team for making an aid that's so popular. And uh, they have reached out and have offered a discount for people that watch the channel so if you are interested you can check out the links down below make sure you check them out and see if you want to get their products again i think it could be a really really helpful one for a good number of people out there so if you have any questions about it please leave a comment down below any comments for people on the channel if you've had one you've used it let people know if you like it that does help them out and as always thanks for watching click the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already and we'll see you in the next video peace